Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will see how to do VLOOKUP and fetch values from another workbook. In our previous episode, we have seen how to use VLOOKUP, some of the basics of VLOOKUP. If you haven't watched it, I request you to do that right now before you watch this episode. In this episode, we have two workbooks. Workbook 1, where I have the see it and do it sheet and workbook 2, where I have the data. The employees, around 1000 employees are listed here. These workbook carries different names. I request you to download both the workbooks in order to follow along with me. In this episode, I will refer this workbook, the first one which says lookup functions as book one and this one as book two, the one which holds the data. Let us start. I will place my selection in cell B2 and what I want is a full name of these employee IDs listed on this worksheet. For that, I will simply start typing in VLOOKUP function equal to VL. As soon as I see that function, I will press tab on my keyboard to complete that function. I want Excel to look for this employee ID in A2. And where should Excel look for that value? It should go look in that workbook too. So how do we do it? We simply navigate to that workbook and holding the left mouse key down, I will drag this across till column D. That's where my full name is listed. It's the fourth column A, B, C and D in our selection. That's the fourth column in our selection. So I will insert comma and press four on the keyboard and then I will insert comma again. I want it to be the exact match. So I insert zero and close the bracket. Before I press enter, let me explain what's happening here. We look up is trying to look up for the value that is in A2 and the value is being searched inside the other workbook. The name of the workbook is enclosed in the angular bracket followed with the name of the worksheet. This total thing is enclosed in the single quotations followed with exclamation mark. Then we have the references of the columns from column A to column D. Then if the value is found in the first column, we want Excel to return the fourth column value. That's why we have mentioned four in the column index value. Finally, we ended with zero. That is, we want Excel to return exact match. That's the reason we have mentioned zero there. If I press enter now, it will fetch me the name of that employee. To find the other names, all I have to do is holding the left key down on this drag handle, drag this and I now have all the names of the rest of the employees. Let us do this one more time. I will press equal to on my keyboard, start typing in VLOOKUP, press tab on the keyboard to complete that function. Now I want this value to be looked up in this workbook. So I will navigate away, holding the left key down. I will span this across till column me. That's where the email ID is listed. Insert comma, then enter number five because I want the fifth column value. Then I want it to be the exact match. So I enter zero, close the bracket and press enter. Now I have the email IDs fetched. I will drag this down and I have email IDs of other employees too. I request you to do this. Go to do it sheet now. Try fetch the values, full name, email, department, other columns, all these things. You have around 167 records to be fetched. All these employee IDs have been taken from this workbook. So I request you to practice as much as you can. Simply watching won't help you. To retain this learning, make sure you practice as much as you can. Download both of these workbooks. Try practicing. If you have any questions, if you get stuck, don't worry about it. Drop in a line and I'll be more than happy to help you and assist you with your problems and concerns. Thank you so much for taking time and watching this video. If you haven't already, Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button and click on the bell icon to enable notifications. Stay happy, stay lovely, until next time.